recently, a delegation from the Russian Federation was in Nigeria to discuss the proposed nuclear plants to be constructed by Rosatom, a Russian-owned energy company. The meeting between the Russian delegation and the Nigerian Atomic Energy Commission ended on a positive note as Nigeria seeks to invest massively in power generation for economic growth, but some analysts are raising concerns about the safety of the technology. Georgina Undukwe Ezeanika has this report. With 4,000 megawatts, Nigeria continues to struggle to generate enough power to meet demands. Power is integral to the development of any nation, and for Nigeria, with an estimated population of 200 million, generating about 4,000 megawatts is unacceptable. To fix this, the federal government has decided to invest in nuclear plants to produce sustainable, reliable and affordable power for the nation. A team from Russia's state-owned Rosatom company has been meeting with the Nigerian Atomic Energy Commission to finalize details of the deal. However, environmentalists have warned against such move. They want the federal government to jettison the idea. They believe nuclear plants are an unforgivable technology in case anything goes wrong. Drawing examples from Japan's Fukushima tragedy, the environmentalists ask if Nigeria can manage a catastrophe such as Fukushima, in which over 2,000 died as a result of nuclear plant disaster. Germany has announced plans to shut down all its nuclear plants by 2022 and go green. But both Rosatom and Nigerian government say the nuclear plant is not only about power generation, agriculture, health, industries are all expected to benefit from the services of the plant. The question, however, remains, why does Nigeria want to go nuclear when the world is going green? Georgina Ndukwezaika, Arise News. Well, joining us now to shed more light on this issue is the acting chairman, chief executive officer of the Nigerian Atomic Energy Commission, Professor Ahmed Yusuf. Thank you so much for being here, Very Professor warm welcome, Yusuf. Welcome, Professor. You, you know, you see some of the the, the, the things raised there. Uh, you know, once Nigeria made that announcement that we're thinking of going nuclear in terms of dealing with the power situation in the country, there was a lot of concerns, especially from energy experts. But talk to us as the experts now. Why is nuclear the solution, in your opinion, to Nigeria's issue with power? Yeah, I, I think, thank you very much for this kind of question. I think in Nigeria there is uh, issues concerning our energy problems and I think uh, one of the major things that we, we have to say in Nigeria about our energy crisis, first of all, not only the trans not only the generation, there is transmission problems, then there is distribution problems. Now today we are talking about increasing the uh, uh, production, but if you increase the production, you did not increase the capacity of transmission, then there is a challenge. And if you increase the transmission, you did not increase the distribution, again, there is a challenge. So investment in uh, nuclear is such that it helps the generation of the electricity. One, it is clean. Two, it is, uh, with time, it becomes more cheaper than compared to other sources of energy. Three, the, uh, the best lot, you have a lot of energy from nuclear within using small uh, material that we call the fuel. So if you look at it comprehensively, yes, there are concerns about the safety. There are concerns about the issue Those safety concerns, are they germane? <laughs> Well, as the experts. well, you know, as the nuclear, in, I mean, nuclear business is growing, the, the safety problems have been uh, taken care of with time. I will tell you, before there is only these active safety systems in reactors, but today we have both active safety system and passive safety system. In fact, even in the reactors, they are building what we call inherent safety features. Now, what happened in previous years, uh, the three, three, uh, mile, three island, three mile island, mm -hmm. the, the uh, Chernobyl, the others. What the happened? one in uh, Japan. Yes, Fukushima. Uh, Fukushima. Yeah. What happened there was, uh, if you look at it very carefully, is about the safety systems. Now, today in our reactors, we have containment upon containment upon containment. So that even if uh, the core meltdown... But if that was so, we probably couldn't have uh, had the Fukushima uh, disaster I where more than 2,000 people were killed. Yes, I... And I, I, I forgetting the environmental challenges. I, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to come yes, to I that. Yes, I yeah. agree to that. What I'm trying to say to you that the technology before and the technology today are different. 
there, there are requirements from International Atomic Energy Agency that the, the new generation reactors should have things that will contain the lessons learned from the previous accidents. It's just like the way aircrafts are being built today. And the Russians are in a better stead to do that for yes, us. Do they have modern uh, 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 reactors and... Uh, um, you know, plants. Yes, if you look at the experience Russia had over years with building of reactors, over 50 of them are operating even in Russia itself, and all over the world, about more than 25 countries are having those reactors. You look at also what are they doing in the new technologies. They have VVR reactors which integrated almost all the, 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 the requirements. Every day, the need for safety is becoming more and more in, in reactor technology. I want to assure you that in Nigeria, we have operated reactors before. Uh, our research reactor is there, and so we. But not at the level at which we're looking at going yes. into, right? Because I do know that we're planning to build that plant, first of all, in Akwaibom and the other one much yes. later in Kogiste. But let's talk about the fact that Nigeria, we have a security challenge. And yes. there's this fear of what if those reactors get in the hands of the wrong people? Yes. How I, much of trouble are we going to be in if, God forbid, this kind of situation comes up? As a lead. Now, look, let, me look, let me tell you this. One of the most one of the most controlled environment is the reactor environment. And when I say we are going to build reactors, it means we have to first of all build what we call our infrastructure. Infrastructure includes the safety, the security infrastructure, the human capital. The, so many things come into it. So if, if you are not going to site a reactor where there, there is no security, you cannot go into site a reactor in the hands of those that are not vetted. You are not going to site a reactor in, in the people that are not knowledgeable and are not experts. So these are the things that you have to face of all factors. When we were talking about Nigeria's roadmap, the first milestone is your infrastructure. Have we gone into building our infrastructure? There is 19 points that you have to look at the human capital, the, the, the trainings that they will have, the, the facilities that you have on ground. Then we before the certification before from the, certification. the inter International then Atomic Agency. we have a regulatory agency. agency which controls the, the, okay. the licensing. Okay, I, I just want to quickly, let's look at the environmental yes. issue. Yes. Uh, only a fortnight ago, yes. uh, Germany says it's, you know, shedding off its five nuclear reactors. Those are the ones remaining. Uh, and the main reason is because they want to achieve that zero emission. And place it yeah, side by yeah. side with COP26, which yes. is happening in Glasgow, mm -hmm. Scotland, mm -hmm. uh, between October and November. Mm -hmm. And the United Nations climatic uh, change drive mm -hmm. on the environment. Yeah. Why but, but, nuclear but, but, reactors now? Yeah, but you know in the Sustainable Development Goals number seven, clean energy, rea nuclear reactors are the answers. But why do we Germany and and some few places are closing down their reactor. This is a political decision, let me tell you this. I don't want to talk so much about that political decision, but let me tell you that while others are shutting down, others are building new reactors. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, Korea announced, China announced, and they are expanding, even in US they are expanding. France today have majority of their energy coming from uh, nuclear. Uh, they are also neighbors to Germany. So it's a political decision whether you want to mix it or not. Some places they are telling you the renewable energy like solar and whatever has its own limitation in the power supply well, system. Beyond, beyond the German but, situation, what mm, he's asking you about mm, the, the environmental implication of this nuclear yes, reactor. Yes, you are talking about nuclear waste. Mm -hmm. Probably the waste that may yes. come from uh, the reactor. Absolutely, yes. yes. So when you are building a reactor, there must be an agreement between you and the vendor on what to do with the, with the waste. And in this case, Nigeria is planning to see if the vendor can be able to uh, take back the, 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 uh, the, the waste, waste and then reprocess it at in the their end facility of its, uh, and the end of its lifespan. So, issue of waste. Planning, very, uh, you're thinking of planning. Is not part of the agreement? No, it's part of the agreement. It's not part of the agreement. Because we have done that with our reactor in Zaria, <laughs> our waste has, been, has gone back to China. Okay, okay. just okay. very quickly, mm. uh, if you may answer this, what are the other inherent benefits? You know, apart from power generation yes. that you can get in uh, yes. having a nuclear reactor plant. See, the, the nuclear energy is a program. Not only the nuclear power plant, but there is also what we call multipurpose research reactor, which has also uh, intended to produce radioisotopes that can be used in our hospitals, in our whatever. There is material testing that you can use with those reactors. The, today, our technology in Nigeria is limited because we don't have facilities that can help us develop those materials. If you want to produce cars in Nigeria today, you need a material testing laboratory. You need facilities that can be able to help you in testing those materials. 
that reactors can answer you. Okay. So in agriculture, I have mentioned many times that using the radioisotopes in the nuclear techniques, you can be able to do that. Even in the environment itself, pollution monitoring, you can solve the problem with the reactors and the radioisotopes. So in one way, you can see the disadvantage, but in the other, the advantages this are so much more. Well, Prof, we sure would uh, have you on uh, another Detailed Arise uh, program Absolutely. to expatiate further because you seem to know so much, but you can't unbundle and everything need now. This information, Absolutely. Before it Thank comes you very much. Yeah. Yes. Professor Yusuf Ahmed is the acting chairman of the National Atomic Energy Commission of Nigeria. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you very much.